guys, yes, this is a voiceover because like Aquarius last week, I have no audio on this video, but this is for Aquar the Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. We have synchronicity here. This is the yin and the yang. This is balancing your masculine and your feminine energy. This is also indicative of your counterpart here. Okay, let's see what other messages um, we have coming from Tarot. My Geminis. Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, please um, hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. We have the Magician. What else? We have the King of Pentacles. And the Sun. I feel that a lot of you guys are basically coming into your own. Um, you're really just trying to get your um, get your money together, get your stability together. I think that a lot of you are like realizing that there is something or someone that is really um, for you and that you see happiness with a lot of you are really realizing a lot of things about yourself as well um i think there's somebody that you want stability with i think you want to be there for them um i think maybe you guys are wanting like a relationship because the kings they are a committed person here um so i think that there, there's something that you've come to realize about your, not only yourself, but about someone else here is what I'm getting. Okay. Very strong Gemini energy here with the magician, um, maybe some Taurus in your chart, maybe a Leo even that you're dealing with does not have to be those signs guys, but, um, very, that energy is strong here. Very strong here. Okay. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm yapping right now, thinking that I'm recording, but yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and see why this is happening. Why is this happening for my Geminis here? We have the Wheel of Fortune, which is a cycle that you guys have ended a karmic cycle. So now you're going into a new karmic cycle, and depending on what you've done, in the previous cycle, what kind of work you've done, um, you know, that that is what you're going to receive out of this new cycle here. Okay. Now, obviously, there's something that happened in the past with you guys that, that probably kind of shook you up, woke you up here. And I feel like it was a breakup with someone, but in breaking up, you know, this is also like awakening something in you, maybe some things that you didn't realize before here. Okay. But I do feel like this is a passing energy for sure. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. And we have, um, judgment right here. This is very Scorpio energy, very Scorpio energy. Um, I think that you have decided that um, there is somebody that makes you happy and somebody from the past that makes you happy. Something that you're wanting to bring back. Okay. And now with the judgment and the sun being there, um, very like Scorpio energy, especially with the, the will of fortune, Scorpio being a fifth sign and the tower and judgment, but with judgment and the sun, that's like the Phoenix rising. So that is like bringing something back. Um, you're hearing the call to bring something back, um, into play currently that you feel like will make you happy. There's something that you realize about this relationship, about this person that, you know, makes you happy, makes you want to probably be with them, makes you feel like they are the one for you. Now, this energy can go vice versa. Of course, this could be somebody feeling this way about you. Okay. 
So just keep that in mind. But this is very indicative of bringing back a relationship, like sparking, you know, sparking it up again, trying to put more effort into it for the long haul. When judgment shows up, this is usually for the long haul is going to last an extended amount of time here. Because again, you guys are going into another karmic cycle, but it's up to you to decide how it goes. Now we have the four of wands here. Um, this is very indicative of you guys you know, want to be in a relationship and with justice, this is marriage. This is marriage for a lot of you. Okay. Maybe Aries here, Libra even, but with the justice and judgment, um, yeah, this, this is like you guys deciding, you know, before that, you know, you would break up, maybe not deciding, but something crashed and burned here. And with the justice and judgment, it's like, you know, bringing that relationship back. Definitely. And for a lot of you, this is marriage. If it's not marriage, then this is like a very strong committed relationship that I feel probably could stand the test of time. If both of you are coming as, um, you know, the king or the queen of pentacles with the sun and realizing some things and making it happen here with the magician. You know, this, this could really, you know, be your partner for the duration here. Okay. Your counterpart. Very much so. Very strong energy here, guys. Okay, now let's go ahead and see what that advice is for you guys. <clears throat> yeah, the Ace of Wands. Um, the time is now, my friends. Divine timing is definitely at play here. Um, and as um, the magician, you guys have, like, you have the power within you to make this happen. Do not be conflicted about this, okay? Do not be conflicted about this. If this is something that you want, whether you are the cross watcher or whether you are my Gemini's, um, the time is now, you guys, to go for it. I feel, I feel like the energy is such that it is aligned. It is an alignment for you guys to have um, everything that you could possibly want here. And then under the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. This you got. This is you guys, you know, de devoting time to each other, to this connection, to make this happen. Okay? So that's what I have for you.